Buildings are responsible for 40% of energy consumption, 6% of CO2 emission in the EU. As a result, the construction sector is the most important to achieve the European energy goals. The innovation market is an 18 billion euro industry. And the blowing cellulose segment uh, is the has demonstrated the highest growth rates in recent years because it provides top technical performances, as you can see, around 30-70% of energy saving and uh, low cost. However, cellulose flakes are still produced with higher chem uh, hazardous chemicals, high percentage of chemicals, high CO2 emission for the transport because it is, they transport air, packaging plastic, and unhealthy job during the installation. This is, I'm very proud to present you the NRP paper solution. We produce a special paper with uh, special chemicals, a very low percentage, and this is flake during the installation with our specific blowing machine. Then we can cover the buildings and uh, give, uh, the, uh, give the opportunity to live in a healthier indoor environment. The process is easy, it's all patent, international patent. We outsource the production to a paper mill in order to have a very advantage of economic scale because we are talking about paper mills 10 times than our competitor, bigger, and uh, uh, high scalability. We sell and stride the reel and then we uh, blow in the, the, the wall. The advantage of this disruptive um, approach are several in each step of the chain of value. Investment, minus 70% of CAPEX because we don't have any plant. We reach the best performance of uh, insulation of the world in a segment of cellulose with, uh, while using half, end, uh, half the material. It means at the same kilo price, uh, we. Uh, cost half than our competitors. Less chemical, less 80% uh, of logistic because we transport, no, we don't transport air and uh, we don't have any unhealthy job because it's completely automatic. Uh, and so it means 36% uh, of energy uh, of saving cost. Even if we start in May 2016, uh, we've already in the market uh, in Italy and now we have some trials uh, in uh, France. The venture itself, uh, itself uh, um... Okay, Davide, grazie mille. Thanks okay. a lot. <laughs> now we're going to move on to the four minutes of the jury. Thank okay. you. Uh, this inside the chemical just for fire retardant and uh, mold. Okay. It's uh, you can use it. Uh, and uh, approval for uh, the, the greenness um, uh, approach. Uh, how difficult is it? Uh, how long does it last? Uh, how difficult is it, is it to replace it? And uh, how do you need to dispose ab uh, of, the, of the... We are the best in the market uh, because of uh, our density. Because we have, we have half weight of the other, so it means that the, the settlement of uh, the, 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 um, the insulation material inside of the wall, um, it's, uh, it, it doesn't go down because the, the weight is half than, than the other. What happens if it gets wet? Y yeah, you, you are right. Uh, this is a good question. In comparison to petrochemical one, like polystyrene and so on, if you are wet, you lose completely the insulation. Instead, the uh, natural one, the uh, vegetable one, they lose the, the, the insulation, but when the sun, when the, uh, the hot, the warm comes in, they can uh, dry and become again to insulate. Uh, you can, I can show you after the uh, material science uh, graph. So who is the customer, uh, the final users in construction? So do you sell to construction companies or do you, who do you sell to? We, we, we have several customers. Our business model, uh, we decide to go each country with distributors. 
that sell all around the countries. But uh, we have uh, several uh, um, customers. One is the distributor of uh, buildings uh, material. One is a uh, ESCO energy saving company. Uh, the other one is uh, wooden builders, house builders, and uh, and uh, the, the the one. Yeah. Uh, did you already had some tests with the real buildings? Is there any, anywhere in the world real buildings build, build with this technology and like staying for a couple of years or so? Yes, uh, this is uh, uh, not a new uh, technology uh, because the uh, newspaper cellulose uh, flakes uh, are still uh, uh, in the in all world. Uh, for instance, our best competitors, Green Fiber in the United States, uh, has a turnover about 150 million uh, dollar per year. Uh, this uh, our product is just uh, the evolution of what we uh, have now. But your product? Did you ever use your product somewhere? I've uh, or we already made uh, uh, roughly 100 installation in Italy, and we are, we have made some three four trials in France with good results. Uh, and also this this product because if you want to sell in the building construction is C Mark. And all performance are tested in uh, CMARC. To enter in a new market, do you have to comply with specific local policies or legal requirements, or is it yes. kind of standardized? You, you are right. For instance, uh, uh, in France, um, even if uh, CMARC uh, it's uh, it's worth, um, we have to make uh, uh, the the trial for, for instance, for CSTB. This is a different uh, different uh, certification, but the tests are the same. All right, thank you, Davide. Bye.